back. Today I actually have part three of this series that I'm having on my YouTube channel right now from the company Bulk.com that I purchased from. So if you watch me a lot on YouTube, you already know that I'm a full-time liquidation pallet flipper. And for years now, I've purchased locally to me and I actually pick up in person to pay zero shipping costs. That's pretty much the best way to get the most profit possible is to not pay the shipping fees because shipping can cut into your profit sometimes most of it. So I have a lot of people who don't have local liquidators to them wherever you might live. People have asked me, would you possibly ever buy from online liquidation websites just to see firsthand what it might be like if you paid shipping cost? And for a couple years, I've kind of like, no, nah, I really don't want to pay shipping. This is my full-time job, power flipping. But I say, no, it's time. So the first two you've already seen. This is the third one that I purchased from bulk.com. Video's not sponsored at all. I purchased these myself with my own money. This is an honest review, okay? I never openly name drop a whole lot of companies that I buy from because I buy locally to me. But if I buy, you know, across the nation, have it shipped to me, obviously it's not a big deal to me for me to say I bought it from this company because to me it's not local. So it's not really, you know, that big of a deal because I won't buy from this company very much because I, I don't like pay shipping costs. So anyway, so what I want to do is I chose one company to purchase from that is a common company that new liquidation pallet buyers might buy from who have inexperience in the business. And most people, whenever you type in how to buy liquidation pallets, bulk.com is one of the first companies that pops up. So there's a good chance you, the viewer, who want to know where to buy from, have it shipped. They would, a lot of people would go to bulk.com to buy the first pallet. So what I'm doing with this series is I'm buying from bulk.com uh, the kind of liquidation, like mystery box pallets that people would normally buy as a first time buyer and seeing if I can make any money off of these. So the first two, the first box, we barely broke even. The second box, I think we may make like 50 bucks. That included a mixture of selling on places like ebay.com and also selling locally like at a flea market or even having your own garage sale. You know, some way to sell it locally. So we're doing this part three. This one is toys, games, and crafts on bulk.com. Whenever you buy it off the website, you actually can see the manifest. You can see like, maybe like what? A picture or two, one picture. So this actually had a price drop of 28% and it had a retail value of $657. I paid 115 bucks plus $30 in shipping. So shipping for just this one box wasn't that bad. I bought from their Fort Wayne, Indiana warehouse, which is actually a couple hours north of me. So shipping was, was, was very cheap because we're in the same state. So I, I tried to buy from a local liquidator as close as possible within a few hours away. So, sh so shipping costs would be minimal at least. Um, so even if you buy from online websites, buy from one that's as close as possible to you because that will keep the shipping costs down because shipping zones throughout the country will raise the price. So like shipping zone four to shipping shipping zone one, huge price difference. Shipping zone one, shipping zone two, not much of a price difference, you know what I'm saying? So this is a total, okay, and this is all supposed to be brand new items, okay? This is supposed to be brand new shelf poles. Nothing should be damaged, nothing should be used, customer returns. The last two boxes, each box thing had at least a couple of customer returns in it, so that was kind of a letdown. This is supposed to have 45 items in it, weighs 27 pounds, and it is new stuff. And on the manifest, I'm seeing a lots of from the brand Odyssey mobile arcade games, uh, some VTEC stuff, McFarlane toys, Crayola items, and uh, of course, then you got some books, a Lego. And another Lego. So I have some high hopes for this. So hopefully it won't, it'll be halfway decent. We'll see. So I got a total in of this of $145 of what I actually spent for this box. So you, the first time pallet buyer, if you bought this, let's find out if you could make money selling online. 
And if you can't sell it on eBay, how much could you sell it for if you had like a flea market booth or, an, or like an antique booth or something, you know? Here we go. And I actually, I will give you that overhead shot before I start, because I'm trying to do that more now because people really like seeing the overhead shot. So I will give that to you guys first so you can see what I'm looking at. So if you don't want to see an overhead shot, go ahead. I guess right now, and I guess fast forward this video, maybe, you know, 20, 30 seconds, something like that. So here we go. Overhead shot. Let's see. Just opened it up. And this is what I am looking at. So right on top, I see, looks like a really cool Marvel Legends. I'm seeing a Lego set. I'm seeing Darth Vader right there. Looks like another Lego set. Uh, whatever this thing is. So puzzles. A sealed item there. So, supposed to be 45 things in here. And the product looks pretty clean. I know the first two pallets, most everything came from Target. And this stuff, we'll find out kind of where it's from once I see some price tags. So that is inside the box, that's what it looks like. And I guess let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, anything that I look up online, I'll just use my, my eBay app to look things up, kind of see, you know, sold listings and stuff like that. So here we go. First item, it's right on top. Let me pull it out. It's looking right at us. It is, okay, this is actually, from Target, that is the Target clearance sticker on it. So it looks like the first three mystery boxes, like the pallets from bulk.com, looks like it is mostly, at least these are all Target liquidation. So this is a Darth Vader uh, buildable figures, Lego item. The box here, it has the factory seals on it, still attached, so that's awesome. And then down here, still factory sealed, 100%. The box is a little bit of like, a little bit of a box crunches on top right here, just from storage. That won't really hurt value that much. So originally this was $40 on Target, or at Target. Clearance off for 20 bucks, and they couldn't sell for 20 bucks, really? People wouldn't pay 20 bucks for this? If I walked into a Target and I saw these for 20 bucks, I'd buy every single one in a heartbeat, because honestly, Lego is almost like printing money. Legos sell extremely fast. So here we go. On eBay, as so much as bad boy sells for, because this item will be sold on eBay. And I'm looking there, like looking at like, like actual sold listings on eBay, not asking prices, actual sold listings, money changing hands, okay? I'm seeing, this is with shipping, okay? 45, that is with shipping, but then here's 36 without shipping. 35 without shipping, 45 with shipping. So it looks like it sells for about $45 shipped or 35 plus 10 in shipping. So let's just take off the shipping charge. So that may, makes about $35. eBay, PayPal takes 13% of that. So that's going to be uh, about what? Four, four bucks from right now, we're down to $31. I'm breaking this thing down for you. The last couple of videos, I've broken it down for you. And then you got to pay your federal and state taxes for every thing that, that you sold. But you do have tax write-offs of the actual cost of the item sold. So what you one thing you can do is if this is 45 items, you paid $145, break it down. You end up paying like, we're going to find out. On average, I paid, let's see, 45 items divided by $145. I paid $3.10 an item, okay? So technically, you could write off... If, if you did it that way, three you can write off $3.10 per item, okay? So, after eBay fees and PayPal fees, you're looking at about eight bucks, federal state taxes, I had to do the math in my head, but eight bucks, so you're looking at probably about $22 or so after shipping, after PayPal fees, eBay fees, yeah. So I think, I actually ran some numbers and on average, whatever the item sells for with shipping, you can pretty much knock off about 36% of the price. And that is usually a good average of what you'll get after shipping fees, PayPal fees, eBay fees, and federal and state taxes. And so, like on average, like if this sold for, you know, $45, if you divided or took off 36% of that, that would be a 
about a good average of what you actually make, okay? So I'm actually gonna keep track, trying to see how well this, this palette does, but yeah, this is this this item's awesome. But okay, if I walked in the Target and bought this thing for 20 bucks, and after I'm selling on eBay, if I only cleared 22 bucks, all this some like this, I would sell locally, try to get like 30 bucks for it, 35, and uh, you know, save a little bit of money there on some selling fees and shipping all that good stuff. But anyway, let's keep going. I won't spend as much time on every item breaking everything down. One of the fastest ways will be just like you know, taking off about 35, 36 to 40% off the price, and that will be how much I would actually make on each item, okay? Here we go. This next item, we have a little plush doll. PlayStation Stubbins Horizon at Zero Dawn, brand new with tags. There is the Target liquidation label on the tag right there, the LP label. The thing's still brand new. I mean, it's all new stock. It's good stuff uh, because... It's supposed to be brand new though too. I paid for brand new. And on eBay, this sells for ooh, like seven bucks shipped. So this will be a local sale for you know a couple bucks on that. Let's see, we pull out this big old thing. We have hearth hearth in hand with magnolia, cash register set, wood and felt. Looks like a child's play set. On the back, it is still factory sealed. It has the factory sealed tape still on it. Retail looks like on at Target for $29.99 was the full retail price. I don't see any kind of clearance sticker on this item. Let's kind of let's look this thing up. Kind of, I mean, like okay, some of these items in here I don't have to look because I I will know the cost of it. So a lot of these items, I'm not gonna look up every single thing. I'll burn through it and say I'll make about this much off of this. Like whenever you see me do other liquidation pallets from other companies, I burn through stuff faster because you know I, I could tell you, you know, if I sold this locally, I'd probably sell for about twelve to fifteen dollars, you know. But like on eBay, looking eBay, it sells for looks like about between 30 and 40 dollars but this thing is big and heavy so let's say it sells for 40 bucks let's do the little percentage thing knock off about 36 percent so 40 dollars 36 percent is about 14 dollars and 40 cents say about 15 dollars so this i'll make about if i sold on ebay actually about 25 dollars so actually i my estimation on this was low i thought about 12 to 15 actually i'll i'll clear about 25 so i just proved myself totally wrong so the first three items looking at about 50 bucks already so that's actually that's not too bad the first three things so here we go we got some brand new crayola giant coloring pages we got three here i think that's all there is yep these actually do have the target sticker on them okay so these i won't have to look up on uh, the original price was five bucks clearance off for 350 and they couldn't even sell for 350 cents something like this honestly if let's say if you had a flea market booth you put these into your flea market booth i could probably get honestly three to four dollars a piece for for these things i could probably easily get about four bucks a piece you know that i mean being straight up honest four bucks a piece um so I'd say I could probably get it closer to 12 bucks for these items. This will be a local sale, no matter what, will be sold locally. Uh, that will be the most money for that item, you know? So here we go, let's pull this thing out. It's been looking at me. We got Marvel Avengers. This is a very, very cool figure. A lot of people collect the Legend series line. This one is still, it's still factory sealed, has all the tape on it. And some of these can actually go for some pretty good money too. Because I know I have quite a few friends who collect these uh, Marvel figures. And some of these are rare, some pretty decent value to them. So this one on eBay sells for about $15 shipped. About $15 shipped. So if you took off, you know, 35, 40%. If I sold this online, I could probably clear about eight bucks, okay? About eight bucks. After shipping fees, selling fees, PayPal fees, all that good stuff. About, about eight bucks, I bet. So that's not a bad item. So far, everything except for a couple things I can sell. Most most stuff so far I can actually sell on eBay. And as if, if you were a new pallet flipper, uh, a lot of people, it's easiest just to sell on eBay, do it that way instead of having to find all the local places to sell stuff at. So I see several of these things. 
in here. Oh, this is that arcade thing that I saw on the manifest. This is the mobile arcade virtual racer. Retail price was 10 bucks. They clearanced them off for a whole $5. Made by Odyssey Toys. I think that's all there is. Nope, hold on. There's, there's more. We got five of them. Six. Six. Seven. Eight. That might be it. Nope, hold on. Eight. Nine. Ten. So here's, here's ten of them. On eBay, they sell for about $7 shipped. You know what? What I could honestly do, I could probably take all 10 of these, probably make a lot for like, make them six bucks a piece, try to sell them for like $60 for all of these. I think that actually might be possible because a lot of times you can sell stuff in bulk. So if I got 10 of these, try to find somebody who wants to buy like 10, I don't see anything more in there. There might be one more I just don't see yet. I'll see them as I dig into the box farther. But if I can get, let's say, 60 bucks for all these on eBay, sell these things in bulk to one person, this is cheap shipping. These things are very, very light. So you, you can say it's going to be about 6, 12, 18, probably about 20, 20 bucks, 22 bucks in you know, all my fees and shipping. I could probably clear about 40, as high as 40 bucks on all of these. So that's not bad right there. That's not bad. So right here, we're already looking at a possible $110 back, okay? So I spent $145 with shipping for this box, and I've already got a good chunk back, and there's still quite a bit of stuff left in here. So far, this has been the best box I've, I've got so far. Here we got, a, oh, okay, we got a pack of Papermate mechanical pencils. Um, so stuff like this, I sell in bulk to people who buy school supplies from me. Something like this, you know, for a bulk purchase, it's gonna be like a, you know, worth a couple bucks. Here we got a brand new VTech toy, Papa Balls Push and Pop Bulldozer. Look at that, brand new in the package. Yeah, it works. So that's a good item. Uh, box isn't damaged, has a little bit of like stress on the top of it just from like storage, you know. But this is brand new. It's still, it's still all factory sealed up. So this is a good item. So this sells on eBay. Looks like for about $25 shipped, brand new. This is gonna be expensive to ship this item. It's a very big item. So something like this, I would try to sell locally first. I love this VTech stuff. This kind of items, I can usually probably charge about 15 to 20 bucks for. Um, this, is, this is brand new, it's a nice item. And like I would probably try to get about 20 bucks for this locally. If it sells for, for like 25 shipped on eBay, it's possible to get $25 for this locally, especially if, if I'm patient and just, just wait it out. I could probably get about 25. So right there, puts us about 137. We're getting very close to getting our money back and there's still stuff left in here. So we got some more of these stuffed animals, just like the first one we had that sold for like $7 shipped. Another one of those, you know, that's like two, three bucks on that. We've got these figures called Ash. It just says Ash on the hat. eBay, nothing sold, nothing. So once again, you know, probably about three bucks a doll locally since they're brand new with tags. So right now that puts me at possible $146. So that actually has me getting back all my money that this big mystery box costs. So right now, in terms of value, I've got my original money back. So, so far this box has been 10 times better than the previous two boxes. I still have half this box left. So this one's actually might not be in a pretty nice box. Maybe. Next item, we've got a Power Rangers Nerf gun. Brand new, a little bit of like box stress damage. Not like damage, a little stress just from shelfware. No clearance tag on it. There is the liquidation sticker on it. So everything in this box is from Target. It's all Target liquidations. So on eBay, this sells about $30 shipped on eBay. Really? I think it's sold for that much. Almost every listing, it's around $30 shipped. This isn't very heavy. It'd be pretty cheap to ship. Probably about $8 in shipping. 
after selling fees, 15, 16 bucks on this item after everything. So yeah, right now, I mean, I'm actually in, actually in, I well, don't want to call it profit, but I'm in a profit potential right now. Let's see, we have a brand new Rolling Stones 300 piece puzzle. Still has a factory seals on it, has not been opened up. Puzzles like this, factory sealed, I can get about five bucks locally for these. I have quite a few people who buy puzzles from me so I can move them very fast to uh, local customers that I sell to. So that's a good item. Let's see, we got a couple of these. Oh, we, we had these in the last one. I remember those tin cans. That's all the tin cans there is, yep. So last video that you saw, or I actually will make sure in the description box of the video, put direct links to the previous two videos. So check those out after you've done this video. If you haven't seen the first two bulk.com videos. Um, these we would sell locally for a couple bucks a piece. Um, that's how much these would honestly sell for. It's just cheapy, small puzzles. And I have people that buy puzzles from me. So a couple bucks or hopefully if I could find somebody, actually, honestly, a puzzle buyer, I could probably get combined about five bucks for each of these. Honest prices, what I would sell them for locally offline. What is this? Artist panel board. I have no clue what kind of value this thing has. Nothing on eBay whatsoever. I'm gonna check amazon.com, see if this is even sold on Amazon. Nothing on Amazon either. I'm just gonna guess on this. I'd say a, a local sale, probably about five bucks. Let's see. We got, looks like two of these. Oh, it's just one huge one. We got a counter hopper. I've seen this before in commercials. Uh, it's brand new in the package. It's, it's been in half just to put into the box. That won't hurt the value or anything. Because uh, whoever gets this, they're just gonna open this thing up for the kid anyway, so the kid can can do the, the hopper skipper thing. So looking on eBay, sold listings, I'm seeing just a few that sold between 13 to $15 shipped on this item. That's pretty That's pretty average, 13 to 15 shipped. So even say $15 shipped. Um, honestly, this would be, I could actually get more for this if I sold this locally, put it on even like a Craigslist or a uh, offer up or something like that. It's almost, we're getting close to summertime and uh, I see a lot of people could use this right now to get out of the house and you know play games with. Honestly, I bet you I could probably get eight to 10 bucks for this if I sold it locally off eBay. And yes, I would still claim federal and state taxes because um, all my sales goes through my CPA that I have because I kind of have a full-time, I pay for a full-time CPA that handles all my book keeping for all my reselling and everything because as my business grew bigger and bigger and bigger it outgrew my knowledge of federal and state taxes like i i did my taxes for years just last year i hired a cpa uh, to do my taxes every month for me handles all my stuff sends off my monthly business tax to federal and state you know, sales tax, everything. He takes care of it all. And uh, yeah, so I would recommend if taxes are a little bit more for than what you can handle, like if tax law gets too complicated for you, get a CPA, pay for a CPA. Um, the CPA himself is actually a business write-off because you're paying for a CPA for your business. So what he charges is actually a write-off for your own business. So, and your CPA will find you a whole bunch of extra write-offs for your business. So I'm not giving tax advice. I'm just giving you tax advice of get a CPA if you don't understand how taxes work because you don't want to commit tax fraud, you know? So anyway, let's keep going. Oh, this is a pretty little cheapy thingy. This is a, uh, oh, it sells on at Target for a whole $5. So I would sell this locally for, I probably try to get about, actually it has a hole in the front of the package couple bucks not hold on that because that package actually is a little damaged uh, that actually probably happened during sh or during shipping because this front's pretty fragile and some just poked through it so oh well next we have photo prop kits 
also a photo prop kit, honestly. It's like a dollar. <laughs> Straight up, it's like a buck. Here we go. We got a Lego right here. Got a Technic Whack Pullback. And the seal on this has not been broken, still factory sealed. A little bit of like a little bit of box shelfware, but it's not damaged. This has like shelfware on it because these Lego boxes, if they put any kind of weight on them, it can damage the box. A lot of people don't care about the boxes. Some people do. It just varies. If you're an in-box or out-of-box Lego kind of person. So this one sells on eBay, shipped for 20 bucks, 20 bucks, about $20 shipped. This would be super light to ship. So I could probably clear after shipping, taxes, probably about 10 bucks, I bet. That's actually how I would sell this. I might actually try to ask like 22 bucks ship for it and try to like clear about $10 or so after all taxes and fees. So we're getting very close to the $200 mark. So I'm actually going to actually make some money on this bulk purchase. So that's actually exciting. So here we go. We have this retail for $25. They clearanced it off for... $17.50. So this actually might have a little bit of value to it, especially since it cost $25 when it's brand new. So on eBay in the past 90 days, not one of these has sold. It looks like people just aren't buying this. Eight to ten. We'll just do an average. Actually, I'll I'll take the, the lower of the two because I might have to mark that down to like 18 shipped. So yeah, let's do eight dollars on that, roughly. Okay, next we got two of these. Oh, this is actually a nice one. Um, Anki Overdrive. Brand new. Still factory sealed. Both are factory sealed. Two of these. So I think these are controlled by your cell phone, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, between $15 and $20 ship. What well, actually, what I might try to do is put these into a lot of two. And try to get like $30 ship for them. And when it's all said and done, I probably walk away with probably like $15, $18. We'll say about 15 bucks on that. We'll take the lower of the two. So like some things, like I told you, I'll just estimate on because uh, I, I've been doing this for years and years and years. And I some stuff I can kind of estimate and say, this is what this will sell for like this. Sells new for two bucks. They clearance off for a dollar. Um, actually the packaging of this thing is damaged. It's half opened up. So like this, it's not, it's not even sellable, honestly. Got another one of these little figurines. About two, three bucks on that. Oh, we got uh, another one. The God of War. Cra uh, was it? Kratos, right? That sound right? I'm drawing a blank. Kratos. Two, three bucks on that. Okay, now we got little some little throw-in stuff. Like, you know, they said there's going to be crafts in here. Here is three metallic Sharpies. These I will keep for myself. We got some balloons, honestly, stuff like this that's not really sellable. Some more balloons, not really sellable. Then this sell new for five bucks on clearance for two. I'll probably try to sell it like, you know, garage stuff like a buck. So all this stuff there with the figurines and all that. So now we're looking at about $230 so far. We got four things left, okay? We got some of this cookie dough slop shop putty. It sells new for six. They have it for three. I get a couple bucks for it. Pretty easily. I think I could. We got three things left. This one's still factory sealed. DIY mailbox. It's got some little markers here. You can decorate your own mailbox. It's a little different. Never seen that before. It says right there, sells new for three bucks at Target. I probably try to get it's a little like thick cardboard. Maybe a couple bucks on that. Maybe. We have another one of these Anki Overdrives. This is the Supercar. This one is still factory sealed in the back. It retail for 50 on clearance for 25, but these don't really sell for anything close to what the clearance price even was most, most of the time. So this sells on eBay for about 15, 16 shipped, 16 as high as 20 shipped. I could probably clear close to about eight to nine dollars after selling fees, eBay fees, PayPal fees, federal and state taxes, probably about eight or nine bucks. 
So now we're at $240. We have one item left. And we've got Borderlands. McFarland toy. It's brand new in the package. Package. Oh, I popped it out. The pop the had a little like crease in it. Not crease, but a little popped in. I just popped it out. Not damaged. I don't know who this guy is. I've never played this uh, video game before, but we got Borderlands, Krieg. So on eBay, we got 25 shipped. There's 18 shipped. Wow, 22 shipped. So it's up between like 18 and 25 dollars shipped. So I would probably try to ask, honestly, like kind of like a middle ground. Let's say about 23, 20, let's say 22 dollars shipped. I'd ask. This thing's light, won't cost much to ship. So after all my fees, I could probably clear about between 11 and 12 bucks on this, around that around that range. So that's it for this box. That is the entire thing. It is now empty. And uh, this box is actually some good news. So I just took a, a lot of these things. I just estimated, you know, like a couple bucks here and there. A few things you actually saw me look up live. Then I would try to knock off about 36%-ish off the selling price, you know, for federal state taxes, shipping fees. Of course, the buyer pays for shipping. Like this, I was telling you, you know, pretty much it would sell for like $15, $16 plus shipping for about $22. So I mean the buyer still pays, they still pay for shipping. I could get back probably about $250. That's after all selling fees, PayPal fees, and taxes. So it's possible this box I could actually make about a hundred dollars profit on. So that's not bad, actually. This was the best box out of the first three so far. And I got out two nice Legos, some really cool figurines, and some uh uh remote controlled items. Um yeah, this is actually this is actually a pretty good box. I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed by this one. This one's pretty good. Um, there was some stuff like this that I'll sell locally, you know, at several outlets around the city just to move the cheap. Because one of the best, one of the things you have to know as a reseller, you've got to have outlets to sell this cheap stuff. Like, you've got to have somewhere to sell it at. You know, either at a swap meet, a flea market, a monthly thing, a garage sale. you got to have some way to sell this cheap stuff. If you're a new seller, you got to find a way to sell it. Bolt box number three from the liquidation pallet. I actually, this one, I actually feel good about. I spent $145 shipped. After all my selling fees, I should get back about $250. So $100 more than what I paid. So that's actually not bad. It's actually a pretty decent return on investment. Pretty decent. Um, not any big money. Because you've seen me with the other ones that I buy from local ones where I'll spend 150 bucks and then I might get back four or five hundred dollars, you know. So this is not this is not as much profit as what I would get with my local liquidators, but whole point of this series is can you buy from online websites and make any kind of money? So one out of the first three boxes is possible to make a little bit of money. So it is possible, but not every box. So I actually have two of these boxes left from this huge pile that I purchased that got shipped to me. So you'll see the next two boxes coming up very soon. So everybody, stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time.